How to do it. Internet marketing. Okay, so now you know why internet marketing is a big deal and how it can help you to make money, find a job, or live your dreams. So now it's time you learn the fundamentals of how to actually get involved. And to that end, the first thing you should probably learn is SEO. Search Engine Optimization SEO is Search Engine Optimization. This means optimizing a website, an article, or both for the search engines. The fact of the matter is that Google pretty much runs the web. If someone wants to find information, if someone wants entertainment, if someone wants anything on the web, they will probably start by checking Google. Then they do a search for that thing they want. Let's say they want to buy a hat. They'll probably search for buy hats online. If you are at the top of those results, then you'll make lots of sales. If you aren't, then you probably won't. Thus, what Google says goes. Thus, Google is king. And thus, the world needs SEO. This is how you go about building content and designing a page in such a way that it will be guaranteed to show up at the top of a specific search. And this means by identifying the keyword or phrase that you want, this is the phrase that you think people will search when they're looking for content or information like yours. Once you've identified that, you can then begin to use that key phrase in your content. The way Google works is by using programs called bots or spiders. These trawl the web and automatically index pages in a massive database for Google. Then when someone searches for something, Google checks the database and looks for the most relevant content. It used to be that the easiest way to come across as relevant for Google's sake was to simply lace your content with as many repetitions of the key phrase as possible. Now, this way, Google's spiders could see that the content you wrote and the thing the person searched were related. And this way, you would show up at the top of the searches. Now, once upon a time, this was all it took. Now, once upon a time, this was incredibly easy. And the more times you repeated the phrase, the better your chances of appearing at the top would be. The only problem was that this made the web incredibly easy to manipulate, and it led to people abusing the system and putting out low-quality content. This led to websites writing things like, Welcome to the Best Buy Hats Online Shop, where you can buy hats online. Buy hats online for your mom. Buy hats online for your dad. Google stamped out this kind of behavior by using algorithm updates that would penalize abuses of the system and that would favor good quality content. Now, Google recommends that you only include keywords using a 1-2% to density. That means that for every 100 words, only one of them should be a keyword. Likewise, Google also wants to see you using LSI, Latent Semantic Indexing. That means that you should write posting content with synonyms, related language, and natural language around the subject. Google also likes to see longer content, 800 to 1800 words. It likes to see new and relevant content, and it likes to see websites that are being updated and well-maintained. Google also now looks at bounce rates, meaning that it can tell how long someone has been on a web page and if they tend to leave after the first couple of seconds. Then that website isn't going to perform well in searches. Using all these newer methods, Google can now favor content that is genuinely high quality and that answers the user's questions. In Google's case, the customer is a user and that's who Google wants to please. So while you should write with SEO in mind, you should also make sure that your content is great quality for the user. More on this in a moment. Other things you can do for your SEO including adding keywords in key places, such as the opening paragraph and the title, such as the file names the names of your images, for example, and the meta descriptions and other tags. The other big cornerstone of good SEO is getting links on other websites. Google views links on other sites as being referrals. And so if you can get a link from a top website, that will do an awful lot to build trust and authority in Google's eyes. Got a link from the BBC? Then anything you post subsequently will much more easily get to the top of Google. That said, Smaller links elsewhere are also useful. And note that links are how the spiders find your content in the first place. Google again doesn't want you to manipulate the search engines or to try and trick them and so it wants to see a link's profile that's natural and organic as though everyone at once just decided to share your content because it was so brilliant and you had nothing to do with it. This means you should have a varied range of links in terms of the quality and even the wording. 
Using links that are on relevant sites is a good idea for reaching the right SERPs, industry lingo for search engine result pages, and for reaching the right audience, however. Avoid trying to pay for links, because this can get your site badly penalized or even de-indexed by Google. All of this is going to help your site to get seen. And if you post regularly and keep looking for popular topics, then you should gradually begin to grow an audience. In theory, more marketing strategies, SMO, and more. While this is a decent strategy, though, it is also very slow and certainly not guaranteed. It is not, therefore, recommended that most businesses and brands rely solely on searches for their traffic. Instead, it is also a good idea to be more proactive in your promotional activities by getting out there and reaching out to your audience. For instance, you can do this with PPC. This is pay-per-click advertising, which is a form of paid marketing where you only get charged when someone clicks on the ad. We won't be going into great depth on that here, but suffice to say that this is worth looking into and a skill that you should add to your bow. More fundamental is SMO, or social media optimization. In other words, you need to get out there onto Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, along with the others like Google Plus and Pinterest, and you need to start marketing yourself. That means you need to post regular content and build a following. Invite people to follow you and ask them to share and like your posts so that their networks see them too. You can also seek out forums, social media communities, subreddits, and more places where people might appreciate your content and where your target audience is likely to be spending its time. There are many more tricks you can use to get the word out about a brand or website too. One of the most powerful and effective is something called influencer marketing. This means that you look for someone on the web who is an influencer, someone who has a large following already, and who can help you reach that large audience. You then message them and find some kind of trade that you can do. For example, you can let them post something to your audience in exchange for posting to their audience. That way, you will both gain some of each other's subscribers. There's much more to internet marketing. Building a mailing list of your top fans is a very good idea, for instance, as is guest posting and writing blog posts for other sites. At the end of the day, it comes down to strategy. You want to gain the attention of real followers. And at the same time, you want to encourage Google to pick up your content and add it to its index. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.